what's up everybody i'm the bitches we're back with another youtube video now in today's video you guys already know we're going to be going through the best of all the craziest tiktok videos out there that have to do with braces and everything else in between i want to say thank you so much for two million followers now let's go ahead and get into it that's what we mean by open wider wider what? Please, wider. Oh my gosh! Imagine if your mouth actually got stretched out like that. Did. I know it feels like that sometimes. And actually, these things are called Dexters. They're actually dummies that we would work on with teeth. Some of these guys had tongues. Some of these guys had faces. I still have nightmares to this day about these guys. <laughs> Now in this next video, we're going to be going over what exact braces colors might go good with your teeth and which ones don't. Braces, uh, colors, to braces avoid. colors to avoid. Green. Green. It's true. Don't do green. It looks like spinach. Brown. In your teeth. Brown, you already know, look like dookie. Straight up. Yellow. Yellow. It makes your teeth look yellow. Or white. Why would you want that? And white, yeah. Isn't that crazy? You would think that white actually would make your teeth look worse, but it's true. They stain super easy. They look nasty. If you can get one of the pearlescent, kind of pearly whites, those do a better job. We're going to go with that. You're supposed to keep your child's baby teeth because once your child grows up and possibly develops cancer or a spinal cord injury, then your child's oh, baby, it holds teeth the baby teeth can harvest stem cells. Actually, fun fact is this is true. This is something that actually genetically can help you. You can get stem cells from your baby teeth. You can get a lot of other things that could potentially help you down the line. So maybe you could save your baby teeth and save your own life at the same time. In this next video, we're gonna show that dentistry and braces might not only be for humans. Oh, I'm gonna solve them on the poor little whoopee. Hey, that's a bone saw. It actually doesn't circulate. It just kind of vibrates until it cuts through. It's completely safe. They're using the stick so it doesn't get into any tissue or anything like that. That poor dog. Come on, man. Now that's what we call a canine. You know what I'm saying? Like a canine tooth. No, you lots of jokes. Okay, anyways. Yes, we do do stuff with dogs and stuff all the time. Even lions and tigers and stuff. They have teeth. They need to have them worked on. So sometimes we do braces. Sometimes you do have emergencies like this. Sometimes we're pulling teeth. Yeah, it's crazy. So I think you would be perfect for my, my daughter. daughter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> well, you're cute and nice. Oh, and you God. have great teeth. Appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. This has happened to me whenever I was a kid. I actually had the same exact thing happen. I don't know what happens when you're in that cleaning and your hygienist and you guys have that heart to heart, but sometimes some weird questions come up. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it gets a little weird. Now in this video, we all know we got tonsils, okay? And sometimes you just gotta get them tonsils, boy, out of there. You know, I don't suggest popping out tonsil stones like this. You can actually really irritate your tonsils and, and cause strep throat and soreness and stuff, but tonsil stones cause that nasty smell in your mouth. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you keep getting tonsils like this, you have to get tonsil crypt surgery where they basically laser off the crypts of your tonsils, closing them off so nothing can get inside there anymore and your stank breath will be gone forever. Yeah! Yeah! Now in this next video, we're going to go through the process of braces and how you get them on to off to everything else in between. First off, we're just clap, clack, clack, clacking these off. Also, porcelain brackets or clear brackets are a lot harder to get off. And then we're taking a burr and we're going to remove that tooth. Funny thing is we don't drill through your teeth. We just polish them up. Super easy, doesn't really hurt. Now this is what we call Hollywood, and that Hollywood actually does remove the enamel and makes it nice and flat to make it look really good, get that Hollywood smile, because everybody's teeth are probably worn down in some weird areas, and we gotta make it look perfect, you know, for you. I found molds of my boyfriend's teeth. Enjoy. Okay, I wanna see this. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm more impressed that she has a big enough mouth to fit those teeth in or the fact that it kind of looked realistic, but that's kind of gross. You know where them molds have been? They have not been in good places and they've been sending in some weird, I would not suggest doing this. Oh my gosh, his tongue has been ripped to shreds and my man going in with a sour lollipop. Fun fact, there's actually nothing wrong here at all. This is called a fissured tongue. It's a natural occurrence, and it does not mean that there's actually cuts in there. Those are just normal tongue variations. He doesn't feel any pain at all. That's why he can do this. Superhuman feet. Ooh, got some teeth here. We pulling out a piece of... What that do that? Oh, that's gotta feel so weird. I now have a new phobia. Fun part is this isn't even a piece of food at all. This is actually what we call a retraction cord. It's a little cord that we stuff into the pocket of your gum tissue to move it away from the teeth so we can do a filling close to the gum line without getting everything in the way. So yeah, it's actually not a piece of food at all. Yeah, weird, I know. I was chasing my baby brother and then I realized. I got you. I got you. 
<laughs> he grew teeth out of nowhere. <laughs> what the heck, yo? There his teeth. Yeah, they're just teeth. They're the? just there chilling. I let him bite me. Ow. That baby said not today. But for real though, baby teeth, in fact, actually do just kind of come right out of nowhere in between one and two years old. They just pop right out. Ooh. My man with the ox looking lights. good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My no, these guy. are not my boots. No, 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 no. She's just pulling on them like a door handle there. Hey, you know what? I think it's cute, man. All smiles are beautiful, including this ox's smile. I don't know about the nose ring, though. I don't think I could pull that off. Closing my tooth gap in three days. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I can tell you right out of the bat. This is not a good idea. These gap bands don't work, okay, guys? It's pure science. If you got gaps here and you close them, that space has to go somewhere. So really, you're just gonna be moving the gaps to over here. So now you're gonna have two big gaps on the other side. So probably don't do this and definitely make sure you go see a dentist or anything or orthodontist before you do any type of tooth movement, okay? When you're yeah, at work in office with no one, <laughs> see, you did not. No, it's the Yeah, I know you're hungry. Hey, good choice with a Chick-fil-A. Oh, man, that's rough. For you guys that don't know, in the dental profession, we have pretty much all females. Actually, and now that I think about it, I've, I've been the only guy in my workplace everywhere I've ever worked. So, yes, if I got to bring some Chick-fil-A and some donuts in to make my girls happy because they make my life so much better, I'm going to do it because I love you guys. My man's breath could freeze someone. Also, ready? Yeah, he got some Arctic Altoids. Altoids. Eat some Altoids. Okay, all right, some Altoids. I see you. Tic Tacs. And now it's going for the Tic Tacs. Listerine breast strips. Listerine breast strips. Breast strips. I didn't even know they still made those things. My man's breast breath. Breath. Colder than the Arctic right now. No. You put that orange juice down, orange sir. Orange juice. You stop that. The legal. Oh! You know that has got to taste so freaking bad. <sighs> Indeed, oh my gosh, we found Mr. Freeze's son over here. Also, fun fact, for something nice, we're making a toothpaste without sodium lauryl sulfate in it. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll be able to brush your teeth and then afterwards, you could drink orange juice, you could eat any food and it won't taste any different at all. Now it's not out yet, okay? You gotta wait for it a little bit, but just be on the lookout. Got a little wire action here, a little uh, figure eight. Normally we use that to cinch things down, keep them locked in. That teeth is moving. That's because it's not a real tooth. Actually, we do this all the time for people with fake teeth. This is actually what we do. So if you're missing a tooth, we gotta put a fake tooth in there and it's just gonna flop around. So what we do is we, we wire it in so it doesn't go loosey goosey floppy woppy. And then after that, we put the wire in and it looks like you didn't even have a missing tooth there to begin with. Take a bite of these luscious lips because my braces are coming off today. <laughs> right, this guy good, like, definitely had a few yeah. Red Bulls before he came to the Three, clinic. Three, All right, we're popping it four. off. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's great. Nine, ten. Right. Yes. <laughs> you gotta take them oh, off. Oh, sheesh. sheesh. Hey, they look good, though. Oh, sheesh. Am I Chip Skylark now? <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. Now we got to get the glue off. We got to take some pictures. <laughs> hey, they look good, Ooh, though. Who is he? He's got the mullet, who is my that? guy. Who are you fighting? What should who I eat fighting? first? Hey, I'm not going to lie. We get all sorts of walks of life coming to our door, but I'll tell you one thing. No matter who they are, the best day of their life is getting the braces off. Everybody's happy. They look great. If you had a good orthodontist, that is. And it's literally one of my favorite things about orthodontists. I love it. Oh. It's just the wrong guy. I can't get out. I don't know what to say. It's stuck to I the mean, butt. I told you guys don't wear tongue rings. You guys oh don't listen God. to me, though. This is what happens. All right, God. Because <laughs> she doesn't know whether she should out. laugh or cry. I don't know. She can't lie. I feel kind of bad for her. But to be honest, I told you guys don't do this. That being said, if you do find yourself in this predicament, you probably should just unscrew it pull it apart, and then put it back in your tongue and screw it back. It's pretty easy. Things you are not Things allowed, you are to, do not allowed you to do braces. while you have braces. Okay, let's see if I Bite agree your with fingernails. this. Bite your fingernails. Of course, that's nasty. You know what? Chew on pen your pencils. Disgusting. Chew on pins and pencils. We actually have that happen all the time. Uh, that's a big pick one. At so don't do pick at your brackets. Pick at your brackets. Don't pick at your brackets, especially if you have the doors. You're going to wear them out. Chew on ice. Um, And chew on ice. Of course. I mean, how many times like, I tell you not to chew on ice? But I know that my follow, my lovely followers out here, you guys are definitely abiding by all these rules. I know that none of you guys have ever chewed on ice, ever. Right? Right? Now we move a lot of different teeth, but this tooth is on another level. Ooh wee, that tooth is up in there. That is an impacted canine. 
and remove the tissue. You can see they put a little button with some chains on it. So there you go. We move it link by link in. It takes over a year sometimes to get some of these canines in, but there is nothing better than having all your teeth in, looking good, and having that Hollywood smile. Okay, I can uh -oh. obviously tell she has not been wearing the retainer. That's where the gaps are. Oopsies. Oopsies indeed. Oopsies. I'm just gonna do it. Oh! oh my goodness indeed. That had to hurt. That being said, did you guys know that if you can get your retainer down like 80% of the way, you can mostly get it on. If you just force it in and you wear it for like two weeks, it will actually act like a little Invisalign treatment and move your teeth back to where they are. I know it's crazy. After that, after the two weeks, just wear it at nighttime only and you'll keep your Hollywood smile for life. When I didn't believe my teeth would hurt this bad after braces and I can't chew nothing. She's literally cutting noodles. When you get your braces on, the first two weeks are super, super sensitive to where you can't even eat noodles. You're gonna be in soft food. But that being said, don't worry guys. After two weeks, the pain goes down and it's easy breezy mode from there. That being said, make sure to like this video or you're gonna have crooked teeth for life. I gotta go fulfill all y'all's orders because you keep buying my toothbrushes. I love you guys so much. Till the next one. Peace.